Nick Fury shot him and saved him, but then that ended up having him tell uh, Mysterio who actually else knew about it and tricked him, and now his friends are in danger. And like he's being he's out being outsmarted every step of the way in this in this first fight, and and that's when he gets hit by that train and almost doesn't like make it through. It was really cool. Uh, it was a really unique type of film, and then. Like you said, this is where the Spidey sense really took over, and this is supposed to be a big part of Spider-Man is the, the Spidey sense. And we've seen Spidey sense like make his appearance in other ones, but this was like where it was the most important because he needed that to overcome the illusions that first you know battle that they had between yeah. each other, and he really had to trust his instincts on on this part of it now. And then on top of it too, it brings in this whole thing like was that really Nick Fury? I thought overall it was my favorite Spider-Man film uh, for a while, and obviously it's at number two now. Uh, but yeah, that's why I ranked Far From Home number two. I guess. Uh